So let's review finding the circumference and the area of a circle. Now, when you go take your GED, and by the way, this is good GED, ACT, high set, just about any kind of standardized test is gonna have a circle on it. And when you go to take your GED, you are supposed to get a formula sheet. And these two formulas are on the sheet, and that's what you'll need to solve these. But, you know, just in case, it wouldn't hurt you to memorize these right before you go in. Now, the formula for circumference is pi times the diameter. Sometimes it's written as 2 pi r, which is 2 times pi times a radius. Well, what's the difference between a radius and a diameter? A radius is halfway across the circle, so the diameter is all the way across. So, 2 times the radius is the same thing as the diameter. If this is 10 inches, then the whole diameter is 20. So, first let's find the circumference. That's going to be pi times either 2 times the diameter or 2 times the radius or the diameter, which is 20. Now, remember, on the GED, you do get a calculator for this part. So, we could multiply. Here's the pi button right here. Pi times 20 gives you either 20 pi naturally. Now, if you want it in decimal format, you hit the double arrow button down here, and it's going to give you 62.8. And we'll just stop there. Okay, so there's your circumference. Now, let's look at how to get the area. Area is pi times the radius squared. Well, the radius is halfway, so here's your 10. So that's gonna be pi times 10 squared, which is 100 pi. And you don't even have to get the calculator out for that one. If pi is 3.14, when you multiply it times 100, you're gonna get 314.